Flying by business jet is better than traveling on an airline in every way. You get to fly from nicer airports without having to share the experience with thousands of other people. You get wider cabins, the jets can fly further and are generally more comfortable. But there's one area where business aviation is behind, speed. In 1977, more than 40 years ago, you could fly between New York and London in less than three and a half hours. Now, whether you fly by a commercial airline or a business jet, you're lucky if it takes less than six. It doesn't make sense. But fortunately, one manufacturer agrees. Aerion, a startup backed by investor Robert Bass, has been working on supersonic business jet aircraft since 2002. This year, GE agreed to make the first new supersonic jet engine for 40 years. And you can see why people want this. The fastest business jets now fly at around 650 miles per hour. The AS2 will fly at more than 1,000. It's the perfect aircraft for transatlantic routes, saving two hours each way. But it can also fly other routes, Hong Kong to Sydney or Dubai to Singapore, where it will save you more than four hours. And unlike Concorde, which was dated and tired, flying in an AS2 means you don't have to sacrifice comfort. The cabin height is 62 inches, similar to larger jets, and it's an extremely wide 7 foot 6 inches. You do not need to give up cabin space for speed. It can seat 11 in a conference grouping configuration, or you can have a rear state room or a double club. Although quite a lot of passengers will probably go for a 19th version with a large demand. All options come with a side facing seat at the front of the aircraft next to the galley and a fully equipped toilet. Aeron expects the AS2 to start flying in 2023, exactly 20 years after the last Concorde flight, and the first customers will get theirs in 2026. It's yours for just $120 million.